Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Please subscribe. Hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget I'm looking to expand my community of advisors and scrapbookers. So if you would like to earn some free stuff and hold a beginner class for me, um, whether you're local to me or not, we'll work it out. Or if you're interested in getting your hobby paid for, or at least partly paid for with a couple of friends around your kitchen table or um, behind the screen like this, or holding small events, whatever. There's no pressure, no minimums, and they're paying you a dollar to join. And there's a trip on the line, which I've already earned, but I'm trying to earn it for my husband now, so I want to take him with me. But it would be super easy for someone new to earn it. So if you're interested in going to Mexico with me, um, let me know. Or just getting your hobby paid for. There is a cash option on the trip. So if you earn the trip, you just take the cash. Um, also, here on YouTube, I have some fun new things. I have Super Chat and Super Thanks and a membership program. So check those out. It would help me uh, continue to create content for you guys. And I would really appreciate your support. Um, let's get to the C's Please page. Okay, C's Please, here we go. So I'm gonna use white for my base to build on, but then I have these blue water pieces that I'm gonna put on too. But I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut an inch off each two sides. I'm gonna cut an inch off two sides. So an inch off here and I stacked them to make this faster and then rotate it 90 degrees and cut an inch off here. And then it sits really nice in the center of these with a nice margin around the printed. This idea came from my brilliant upline. I've talked about her before, I love her so much. Um, here is another print from the paper pack. It's got fish on one side and the, this fun nautical on the other. I love it. Um, so I'm going to cut, let's see, I'm going to cut an inch. No, I'm going to cut two inches twice. And then I'm going to cut an inch twice and I like to cut less than inch and a half on this side because I have more paper to hold on to, if that makes sense. This page is gonna be pretty quick and easy. Done with that. So let's start gluing this down. Taping, I don't know why I always say glue. We don't have glue, we have tape. If you're using glue sticks, please don't. I mean, to each their own, but there was a time in my life when I thought I couldn't afford Creative Memories Tape Runner, and all of those albums now, I am having to go back, because it's like there was never anything there. And the Tape Runner, Creative Memories Tape Runner stuff from 1999 still stuck down, but that one period of time when I wasn't selling Creative Memories. Of course, if you think you can't afford Creative Memories tape, you could sign up as an advisor and earn commission on what you're already buying. And you don't have to use as much when you're using Creative Memories tape runner. It's good stuff. All right, so we got those glued down. I'm gonna glue the fish down. And I'm just gonna glue them in the center-ish. I'm not measuring. Aren't they handsome little guys? I think that's upside down though. I don't know that it matters. They kind of look like they're going every which direction, but that looks upside down to me. Let's try again. That looks better. Let's do it right the first time. So I do want these to match up. Perfect. Then we're gonna glue this fun nautical rope thing right under it. 
We love to fish. We have a boat, so these will be perfect. All right, then I have, so I highly recommend if you make double page spreads like I do to get two of the laser borders. There are ways you can make it work, but it definitely looks better with two. And I might put some more of this regular tape runner on here too since it's a thicker piece of paper. Oops, I'm out of tape. Isn't this cool? I love this driftwood so much. I like using the repo for things like this that so I don't have to hit the mark every time, but then I like to use the more permanent, stickier stuff too. Okay, that looks so good. Okay, then I also love this. Obviously, it matches, so I'm going to put it on. I think it's the same color either way. And I think I like it better this way. And then I have some photo mats. I think one there would be good. And then maybe a little guy there. Then I have these that are kind of bigger. And I don't know if I want to leave that intact or cut it up. I think I might leave it intact. Or what I could do is cut them in half and then they would fit up there better. Let's do that. So these are six and a half, so we need to cut it three and a quarter. And that should be right down the center, as long as I get them lined up. Now we have more up there, and then I'll cut this to a it's not exactly four because I pulled them out of the multi-pocket pages. Three and a quarter, three and three quarters. Okay, what do you guys think? Now we just need some stickers. Let's tape these down real quick. The fish are going the wrong way, but it's gonna have, well, I could move them, I suppose. Just trying to avoid that though. That might drive me nuts if they're going the wrong way. Right? And we can go off the margin a little bit, off in the margin. And I didn't really want to cover up those fish on that paper. Love that too. Okay, now we have some stickers. I want one of these down here. And something with it. What do I want with it? A boat? Sure. Oh, we, we didn't take this guy down. This definitely um, is for cruises, but I am going to use it for not cruises because I've not been on a cruise in a while. I've been on one cruise and it was not, it was to the Bahamas, so we didn't have any otters or, we did have dolphins one day. Let's see, having a good time, making waves. Cruising together, that doesn't have to mean a cruise. It could mean a boat. I'm gonna put some clouds up here. 
Oh, a whale of a good time. Life is good. How about that? Let's find the foam squares. It's a sticker, so I'm going to use a few more than I normally would. There is way, some people, you know, stick them to their clothes so they become less sticky or put baking powder or flour, I don't know what it is, on there. You could do that. Or you could just add more pop dots. We probably need some more fish, but not up in the sky, I suppose. That would be weird. Since I just put clouds there. We have more driftwood. I like this making waves, but it doesn't really match my paper that I chose for this time. Adventure. We probably need some foam squares, don't we? Perfect. Um, that is probably going to be good enough for me for this one. What do you guys think? Hope you liked that. So I recorded and then forgot to record my little cute little ending. So I'm back. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget about all those new perks on my YouTube channel. The super chat and super thanks and the membership options and uh, let me know if you want to join my team or want to hold a beginner class and if you're not already loved by an advisor and need some c's please go right here thanks so much have a good day